guys, for this video, I finally get to talk about Giver. You don't know what that is, do you? Some of you don't, you're too young. That's all right, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna give you a brief history of BioBooster Giver, and then I'm going to review the movie Giver 2. There's a reason I'm reviewing it. I'm gonna tell you right now what it is. It stars David Hayter. If you don't recognize that name, he is the main voice for Solid Snake of Metal Gear Solid series, okay? Snake plays Giver. But again, I'm back up a little bit. I'm back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. I'm gonna give you the history right now. Biobooster Armor Giver, known as just Giver, is a Japanese manga created by Yoshihiki Takeya. The series combines elements of science fiction, action, and horror. And the fan base is wild. If you're a fan of this, holy shit, you in for a treat. Here's a brief history on it though. It first appeared as a manga back in 1985, written and illustrated by Yoshiki Takeya. If I butchered that name, I am so sorry. I am so goddamn sorry. It was serialized in Tokuma Shoten's monthly Shonen Captain Magazine. The story is about a high school student named Shu Fukamachi, who stumbled upon a mysterious device known as the Giver Unit. Okay, you got that? The Giver Unit. The unit is basically like, it's like a like an orb or a coin of sorts. Think kind of like the Power Rangers when they get those Transformers. It looks kind of like that. There's a lot of Takayatsu uh, influence throughout the whole series, by the way. A lot of it. There's a whole lot of it. The unit is extraterrestrial in nature, of course. And when fuses with the kid, he becomes the Giver. If it helps you a little bit, think kind of sort of like, you know, Venom from Spider-Man, the symbiote. It's it's a very similar thing. It's not far off at all. There's several different Giver units out there in the universe of this universe. They all usually have the same type of weapons, but usually it's high level strength, endurance, speed, and weapons usually are kind of different, particularly the most famous one being the uh, chest buster. That's my favorite one, the chest buster. It's going oh! like that. <laughs> <laughs> his chest and it also got the arm blade the elbow blade it's called vibro blade i believe it basically cuts through anything it's like wolverine's uh, claws in a way and throughout the whole series usually fighting the bad guys called the zoonoids and the company called chronos and throughout the whole series they go back and forth with them all the damn it's all the damn time with them all the damn time based on the whole entire series though there's a lot of graphic violence by the way throughout the whole series like it seems like your typical action adventure thing and some superhero elements there too but for most part, I kind of would call this action horror because the gore in this, you two would de demonetize me if I showed any scene from the manga, okay? Most likely, because it is so graphic. I can't, I don't have to blur the whole damn thing out. So if I'm showing anything on the screen, I'm showing you the nice stuff, the stuff I can show. After that, ha, <laughs> you, you, you better not be in a little pussy right now, okay? Don't, 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 don't puss out of me, bro. Don't, no, don't do that. Anyway, I was used to the Giver from the 1989 series of the same name, by Booster Armor Giver. They released this mostly in Japan, but later on it came up to TV. You know, mostly OVAs at Blockbuster. That should tell you how old I am when I say Blockbuster, okay? And the series got very popular. There's a lot of themes of identity, power, consequences of advanced technology and prevailing throughout the entire series. And the manga is well received and engaging narrative and dynamic character designs. Oh my God, designs. Let me tell you about the designs real quick. So hold on, hold on. I gotta tell you a story right now. All my tats are based off Giver. Let me show you really quickly what I'm talking about. Now, do not freak out when I show you this shit. This right here is my torso tattoo. I have my artist base this entire tattoo off of Giver, okay? This whole ink set of my body is based off Bio Booster Giver series. That's how much I love the series. Same thing for my arm sleeve. About this entire arm sleeve is based off the movie version, live action version of Giver, okay? Let me show you real quick. I made sure my artist knew exactly what I wanted to have as close as we can get it. Like, he went ham on this, and I thank him every day for it too. I love it. I will never trade this for anything. But anyway, in the early 90s, Giver had two live action movies. Two. One came to HBO, and later the other one came to, I believe, Showtime or Cinemax. I'm not sure on that one, but that's all right. I'm about to review the 1994 movie, Giver 2. I'm skipping Giver 1 because I actually did a video about that a long time ago. I'm embarrassed to show it to you. I will never show that again. If you want me to do a review of the first one, I can. But honestly, it's not necessary, okay? We'll go back to that if you want me to. But you gotta say so in the comments. So please, like, sub, and share if you want to see me do a re-review of Giver 1, okay? And you say something in the comments as well about it too. Say something like, I want to review the first. Okay, if enough people do it. We'll say maybe 100 likes. If I get 100 likes for this video, I'll do a re-review of Giver 1. Now, speaking of Giver 2, we're gonna review it right now. I'm gonna just commentary the whole entire video, so relax, laugh with me, because it's about to get cray. Let's enjoy this. As I promised, I'm back, day of time, gangster, and it's like, they're basically drug dealer, cane, the crazy shit happens. That's right, Giver, look at that shit. Wait, before we get to that, right by, look at that shit, look at that. Ooh, 
shit. Walking through that screen like ain't nobody's. Look, I love that silhouette. I fucking love that silhouette. Oh my god. Yo, that's the most ice cold. Oh, yes. Fuck yes to all of this. Fuck. Yes, what I'm talking about. This that good shit. Guyver is pretty much rated R Power Rangers, all right? Except it's only one dude, it's one guy. And this whole movie, he goes ham on these mofos. All right, these, these games, this ain't, this is like a Tuesday for him. This ain't nothing, nothing. This is easy work for him. No, no, Guyver goes after aliens called the Zoonoids, okay? That's the real end. These guys right here, they're just snacks. Look at that, look at that. What, none of your moves are doing shit. What, what's that going to do? Look at that, got your ass kicked already, nigga. You done. Get your ass. Oh, he about to do something. About to do something. He about to do something. Oh, 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 knock that shit in my face, bro. Get out of here, bro. Bullshit, man. Get that bullshit out of here. Get that boo boo out. I mean, gangsters, if you're gonna fight the Giver, guns, conventional weapons, you might as well forget, okay? Oh, look at the way he switched out this guard, though. Look at that. It's extended like gangster shooting. It <laughs> takes a long ass step. The way he falls down. Ugh. Oh, shit. Fall down. I can't. I can't, y'all. I can't. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's dead, man. He ain't getting sorry, man. Can't say. You think that's gonna be the main bad guy or something, right? Nah, he, he ain't shit. your average, you know, gangster mob boss type. And now here comes the Viper Blade. About to fuck shit up, bro. Hold on, watch this. Watch. Talking all that good shit, huh? Talking all that good shit, huh? What's up? What you got? What you got? Huh? Nah, you're not that guy, bitch! <laughs> You ain't making Guyver 3, nigga. <laughs> you, you done. <laughs> of course, writes his name in there, Guyver. Yeah, have your fun, man. I know. He's arrived late as fuck. Gets the hell out of there. You know. You seen no superhero shit. You know what I'm talking Now we're on to this part where Sean, main character, played by David Hayter. My man, David fucking Hayter. Solid Snake himself. From a, you know, a bad dream. He's got, he got the sweat. You know, he just, you know, he's all fucked up, bro. He all fucked up. And then he goes with what call it flashback. After, of course, here's about a, you know, took a monster, a werewolf, run around the shit. Uh, you know, ain't a werewolf. That's probably an alien. And he sees these little symbols, right? They're gonna pop up throughout the movie, right? It, this Sniffling plot, okay? Simba, okay? He's been dreaming about these symbols for a little while now. I mean, he's drawing them out too, right there. He just saw them before he even watched the news because he's been dreaming. So what they are is alien sign. No, hold on. Okay, so next part here is a little flashback between him and the girl from the movie. Again, if you want to re-review that movie, I will. But you gotta ask. Otherwise, I'm not touching that sh I No, but no. It's not a bad movie per se. It's just, I don't feel like going back to stuff I already touched and I don't feel confident with that anymore. But again, if you want to say in the comments, but basically, this entire little flashback is kind of pointless. You have to retell really us this, but those who watched the first one, the first one, I think she was, and she was his girlfriend. She was, she was kind of plucked because her dad was a Zoonoid, and now he's dead. And now they broke up. The end. That's all you need to know about. It's really, it goes to this little out of nowhere little junk shop. Get some information, like you as you do out in the no bum fuck country. And there's some kind of archaeological dig going on about this cave, right? This cave plot plot important, right? And there's an archaeologist who happened there at a particular bum fuck shop. I forget her name throughout the movie. I might pop it on the screen later, but it doesn't matter. She's not really that important anyway. Sorry. It's not. But yeah, it's a new love interest. Got to get himself white. He had the Asian flavor. Now he's getting the white bread, okay? He traded the rice for the white bread. It is what it is. I said it. I'm taking it back. Of course, well. That he's dream. He worked in the cave, right? Okay. So the simps like, okay, this guy's on some shit. Like you on some shit, bro. But you ain't bullshit. Okay, I believe you. Have a little, you know, back and forth into each other. And it's just as weird. He walks away for a second. You know, it's all. And then like seconds later, they're, they're driving together. So that seems a little pointless. But there's a lot of there's a lot of pad in this movie. The movie is not bad per se. But this is two fucking hours long of just mostly talking. A good hour of this movie is just pure talking. Okay. There's nothing wrong with the actors per se. Some between, all right, the subpar, but it's still passable. We came out on, I believe, Showtime. And this is how they run out the, the, the runtime here. They want to get a, a two-hour movie. So Majority's movie is just packing on lore and adding on pointless fucking scene. Not kidding. Not kidding. Many moments. Like, okay, just going to the cave, discovering it and all that. Mystical is wondrous. Oh, man. All these paint talking. And this right here, movie gives me like a, a Jurassic Park vibe because this is a, the main girl's father right here. Now, he's the main guy working for, surprise, surprise, his dig is funded by Chrono. Chrono's main antagonist company of this thing, okay? Kind of like, like, what's the best one I can describe? Waylon Foundation. I guess say Arasaka from Cyberpunk. Skynet. Any evil company generic you can think, that's prone. Who work for the people, they're not particularly ass snap most. They're mostly just, you know, good old fashioned boys and shit. Boys and girls digging up some cave, have a little fun. You know how it is. Now this dude right here, He's representative for Chrome. And you know, he's being, you know, mysterious as possible, kind of real shady shit. You're clearly not the bad guy. Clearly, you're not the bad guy. Be a big ass forehead. Look at this nigga's forehead. Look at, look at your forehead, bruh. Forehead, bruh. Your forehead, bruh. Your forehead, bruh. What's wrong with your forehead? I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, I apologize, forehead, man. Look at this. Look at this product placement for a second. Hold on, man. Look at this. Got this bud dry, gigantic. <laughs> Look at that, right in camera frame, like perfect the whole time. Oh my God. Then they added one more time right here, which gives the girl a big old case. It like almost clear as day. I'm like, yeah, 
You gotta get that money somehow, huh? Okay, again, more pointless padding mode talk. You know, he's trying to get his Mac Daddy shit on. Sean, I get it. I get it. Priorities, bro. Priorities. God, this shit. Dial pass. Ass. Sometimes movies come. Kind of, like, it is a good movie, but there are moments strong. Ugh. Uh, another point. Now, this character, I have to second. He was on the news talking about where because he's seeing Zone Noid. And he brings another journalist along. He's just characters. Don't, by the way, they only show up for just this one scene to build up a Zoinoid attack. There's some Zoinoid right there, by the way. You know, blinking his big ass fish eyes and shit. What the fuck is that? Is that fucking toad? I don't know. More padding. More padding. Now the characters are running around. Oh, there's one black character, by the way. Yeah, he's about to Zoinoid. He's about to attack him. Attacks. Fires. Hear the gunshot. Everybody's wild. And uh, Sean, you know, here's got to got turn the guy. I want to see this one black character. This guy right here. This dude is actually plot Horton. This one character. He looks like just be another extra. It's kind of shady. He's very shady in the whole fucking movie, by the way. I call him Shady Negro. He's the most shadiest Negro I've ever seen in my life in any movie in a long time. Okay, this this man right here. This man, this guy, he that guy, that he him, him. But yeah, I'm gonna spoil it for you. So that guy basically works for the government, okay? Elias, it's like CIA, FBI kind of shit going on, you know what I'm saying? He's government man, basically. He knows about the aliens and shit. Here we go, here we go. Sean running off the rest. Oh, oh, character transformation, baby. Oh, fuck me, I love that. He comes in slicing that bitch up. Oh my God. Guy, he's in trouble, fuck. Oh, I'm gonna die now. And yeah, most times, like, he's probably, probably done. It's the horror roots of Guyver. And Guyver comes in, calls him out as bullshit. Lightning, by the way, is not too bad. I wish a little more lighting, but for what they have, it's adequate enough. I can tell what's going on. The camera kind of goes oh, out of focus every so often. There's not enough lighting for certain spot shots. But the action scenes are great that certain time movie. I really like it. It's very, uh, got inspired, but that's the point. Guyver made from, you know, Katsu era type stuff. The armored power-up superhero trope of, you know, for America's be power Or anybody else, common writer, for instance. Ooh, shit! Damn! Damn! Holy fuck! God damn! Damn! <laughs> Go at it, bro. Yo, he ain't playing around, man. They are not, they not playing around. Look at this, bro. I'm glad to censor you this, but man. Like, I mean, he, he's he wearing the shit out of him right now. He's just tossing him and shit. Do little twirls in the air. <laughs> Do little bicycle kicks and shit. Oh my God. It's so, oh my God. I do like the direction for the fights. I do like, they did a great job. I almost want to play Go Go Power Rangers throughout this entire fight scene. <laughs> I really got big, oh my God, grab the fucking tree. God damn. Like, obviously rubbers, but the way they like made them designs and whatnot, very chef's kiss. Great job on details. They're based off actual monster designs in the manga. I, I like that incorporated that. That's beautiful, beautifully done. See, it's very rubbery looking, but hey, points to this movie for using prosthetics. You know what I'm saying? Prosthetic effects. Hollywood doesn't use them as much as they used to back in the day. I wish they would use them a little more. Right here, this worked. Like, I mean, it's not that bad looking. It really is. For a TV movie, that's not too bad. Especially well for Showtime as well. They come up too late, thing like, oh man, what happened to the creature? And Shine, like, oh, uh, he's over, he's this way. He this way. And the guy, you know, he knocked out. He's not dead looking for him. He ain't dead. He just scares. Now, look at this black man. As soon as they done talking about that shit, he ran off in the woods. Shine looking like, man, what the fuck is that bullshit? I agree, Sean. I want to look at what's going on. What are you doing? What you doing, bro? Government man, do it. Get up and shit. What's going on, man? What, what, what's this boy doing? He doing up? Hold on, hold on a minute. What's this? You hey, can, can hear the guy like talking to somebody. I got here, and then you know he makes it there. Yup, heard it. Sean, Sean, you, you know he fucked up now. Ah, uh, he's trying to act like he, he can do no shit. <laughs> I'm trying to walk up and do nothing. The guy's like, nah, man. I heard that shit. I heard that shit. I'm on you too, motherfucker. You on to me? I'm on here, bitch. I hear shit, bro. Uh huh. Okay. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure you didn't, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, guy. Okay, guy. <laughs> Like, man, he's up on his ass. Look at that shit. He, I mean, he, he's like boxing in and shit. Short ass. <laughs> he boxes his ass in, bro. <laughs> I'm starting to play. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I, I, I'm just looking for some cheeseburgers. You know what I'm saying? Look at Get them cheeseburgers, bro. You got them, get them cheeseburgers. You got them cheeseburgers. I'm sorry, man. You know what? I done fucked up. I'm gonna get out of your way. I'm gonna just go. Whoa! Pop the Glock and shit. What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! You are out of pocket, man. They try to act like you didn't do nothing. Oh no, no, no! That bullshit. And like you didn't do nothing, bro. So what y'all doing? Oh, not, not, man. We just a couple of guys playing around. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot your ass. The next day comes Sean's bullshit story about where he went off. Oh yeah, I was trying to find some help and uh, I found help. See, I, I just regular white guy Sean. <laughs> this is a few years where he did Snake. This is what he was doing. Poor David Hayter. He, uh, he was appreciated back then, you know what I'm saying? We came out in 90. And later on, big head dude's talking to the guy. And they do this whole montage. It's a whole ass montage, by the way. This montage really doesn't go anywhere besides they make the cave bigger, baby. This whole ass montage about passing time, probably like maybe like a few days to a week, maybe. Chills in the way, looking over rock, using the magnifying glasses, all that bullshit. Man, they ain't do jack. 
fucking shit, okay? <laughs> the only thing they did was like, they found a little hole. That, I, I, I solved it for you. This whole montage was to find a hole to the bigger spaceship, okay? So you think it's a cave pattern spaceship, all right? It's a spaceship. That, that's what we're looking for. There's a big ass fucking spaceship. You found an alien ship. Look at the ship, by the way. Look at this. Look at this real quick. Look at the inside of a crustacean. Look at that. Look at that, man. Y'all is looking all, all glorious. Man, this is a, that's a big ass fucking uh, lobster you got there, guys. Is that, is that a shrimp? Wait, shellfish, man. What's going on with this bullshit? Hold on. Shiny track, all cool. Like, uh, oh, yeah, I, 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 I didn't know what that was. Meanwhile, everybody else is looking like, like, man, stop, stop some alien shit. You know, we can't bullshit the black man. He's like, yup, I gotta tell my spirit to him. Look at that. He got evil bad guy energy. Hold on, hold on. Look at this man. He has bad guy evil energy with that forehead. I'm telling you, man. Forehead. And later on after the dig, you got the main girl, you know, somehow wearing an evening dress for some reason while doing a ring. Which is really weird, by the way. I don't know if you who do that. Do you, fe female researchers, do you do this at a research site? Do you wear evening dresses? I find that weird. It's weird. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to diss it. I'm just saying it's weird. That's all. All I'm trying to say. I'm gonna leave you alone. Man, look at you put on the charming shit. I see you, bro. I'm trying to get that, mm-hmm, that Pulitzer Prize shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, women uh, women of the uh, women that's watching this channel right now. I'm so sorry about that. That was very much misogynistic of me. Yeah, no, I, I fucked up. I fucked I don't, yeah. She's gonna like the fuck me eyes and shit. Just totally give him the fuck me eyes. You know, you gonna follow her? Of course he is, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gonna get yours, man. Go on, Guyver. Get that, get, get that. You you earned that. You earned that, bro. You earned, you earned it, kinda. I mean, you got main character energy, so you know. It's like, come on, bro. I got something for you, though. Like, what you got, you got to show me? Like, oh, I got to show you a few tricks. Trick? Yeah, it's just Jack. I don't know why. I, I like the scene right here. Look, talk. And all of a sudden, he goes full slow mo. Like, the weirdest, awkward slow mo action. He knows he got cut on his head. He's like, oh shit. That's the alien I was fighting. It was him. It was that nigga right there. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> And by the way, they don't do this ever again throughout the whole entire movie. That's the only time they slow everything down just to show you that. That is such a weird direction. I I don't know who thought that was a good idea. That was and they more they want this guy's bullshit over here. This motherfucker basically just tell him all the shit like, hey, I know about Kronos, I know about the Zonoids, know about all that shit. And uh Sean's like, no, nah, I destroyed Kronos back in the first movie. He's like, no, 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 no. You destroyed Kronos LA. Fuck you talking about? Yeah, Kronos LA. It's worldwide, bro. Worldwide bullshit. You about, about to be in a world of it, bro. About to be in a world of it. It's gonna suck. It's gonna suck. It will suck. And now, right here, I love you right here. See, like, the, the guy for control unit in the back of his neck, like, just pumping and shit. Robin, you can feel the force <laughs> in a way from the cave. It's from, it's from the ship, obviously, but the ship is calling him, basically. Call him home. Because, basically, if it's, if it's doing that, it means there's another guy unit nearby. It's really, really something just like him nearby. Shot, look at this. Look, look away, shot. His, his hair is all waving in the air and shit. He's going full on live action anime right now. He's going full anime. And I was talking about how the dig needs to be preserved and all this. And they're trying to decide what. And as you know, the alien ship opens up 90s swirling opening up sequence they're all getting scared i don't know what the fuck's going on I mean, it could be anything at all Sean, look at that he, he's doing his, his his best anime face like ah yeah <laughs> oh my god oh oh my god so yeah the alien has opened up linger on here first some dumb i don't know. show wonderman i guess yeah extra footage doing a little test side make sure no radiation by the way no radiation so this entire sequence again very very pointless four to five minutes of this sequence There's a lot of long sequences i don't know what i don't know what to keep that padding out time padding out the fucking time later on sean and his girlfriend new girlfriend i guess their boyfriend girlfriend they get on the ship they're walking around you know exploring everything the inside of it looks reminds me of the alien which i'm betting that's probably on purpose anyway old 19 uh my aunt used to have some like that. He's like feeling the alien shit in there like, Ooh, ooh, what is that? What's that, Sean? Sean, what's that? Ooh. He ain't hearing that shit right now. He's trying to listen to the force. He's trying to listen to the guy. So let's call him, basically. He's got to follow it. You know, as main character energy does. We got his other new character, by the way. Yeah, we're just adding more characters now. Showing more of the inside of the cave. Yeah, and the spider's bottle. Padding, 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 padding. Gotta make it two hours. Padding, 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 padding. Sean's still walking. Then he finds, I guess, and there's a Giver unit right there. He's trying to figure out what's going on. It's my destiny. Is this my destiny? Of course, it's main character, so yeah, it's calling that Manon. Why are you calling me? By the way, at this point, we're an hour in the fucking one hour. It's just this shit. It's a lot of talk. We're gonna see action eventually, but it's gonna be a lot of fucking talk. A lot of talk. A lot. A lot of this bullshit. They need cuts. 
some dialogue from this. It's way too long. This has no business. Two hours fucking long. Oh, here we go. Finally, other Giver's not going to be activated yet. There it is. Hey, how you doing? I'm a Giver. This way our Giver units look like, I don't know, reminds me of kind of sort of like Roomba in a way. I don't know what it is. She's telling her father like, Dad, look, I found one. He's like, that's fantastic, sweetie. And now we got to give it up. This forehead guy said we had. It's like, what? Forehead guy is kind of evil. Yeah, clearly. Have you not looked his fucking forehead? His fucking forehead! Shy knows something's wrong. Fuck out of it. And again, this character, I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to pause. This bitch has not been introduced in this movie until right into this moment. And that's the scene before they show her, like, kind of sneak behind them. They've not introduced her at all. At all. No setup, nothing. She's just in the movie. They did not set her up whatsoever. But in case you want to know, she's from Kronos. She works for the bad guys. She's a bad guy, okay? He's doing all that shit for a bad guy that wasn't even properly introduced, by the way, until, like, these scenes came in. Explain that to me. I don't know. A lot of pattern. You know, they're arguing with each other. You know how it's gonna go. They're not gonna win. He's taking the shit because Chrono said so. Fuck you. You know, black man, he reported interiors. You know how it is. Got Uncle Tom that shit. Got way. And now she's being escorted off by force. Dad, he's looking all sus and shit. He's like, oh no, he can't do that now. Hold on. Y'all sneaking off and shit. Oh, here we go. We're gonna have the famous lines that every main bad guy now and the main character has. You know the lines, right? You and I aren't so different. We're the same, you and I. We are cut from the same cloth, you could say. Hmm. I'm gonna talk down to you because I want you to understand that I have empathy in a way. Now he's doing this great villain speech, like a very obvious, yeah, we know, you're evil, we know. The big reveal isn't a reveal, it's pretty obvious. You're fucking evil. Yeah, I know, you're evil, you're evil. Oh, shit, yo! Okay, you know what? Points for that. That was a good reveal. That was a good reveal. Look at the chest. Oh my God, the transformation. Yo, that's not too bad. I mean, just little jump cuts, but I mean, I like the jump cut. It was actually pretty well done. I'm not gonna lie. But yes, he's very evil. He's a fucking Zoinoid. He's saying shit like, you know, I won't be like this. You gotta understand, I'm not like this normally. It's that time of the month. Trying to convince, you know, come on, be on our side, bro. We we're the same. You know, me and you, we we cool, right? Me, you, me, you, me, you, me, no, 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 no. Fucking fish lip. Good animation though on the head. I'm not gonna lie. That's very good animation. Like, you know, like they're limited with the animation of the head, you know, the animatronics inside of it. It's still like, it conveys enough motion where you can kind of get the idea what he's trying to. Basically, come on, take my fucked up little hand. The sticky. Sound like, man, I don't want that show fucking shit. That's disgusting, nigga. Really? I washed? Okay, fine, whatever. Then the dumb bitch comes in, knocks him out. That's what she's there. For. She's just lack to lackey. That's what they're building him up for. And after all that speech, he does an evil villain laugh. I mean, look at that shit. He just did the whole Saturday morning cartoon villain laugh. Wah, 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 wah. We get it, your security. Fuck you, security. Bitch. Oh! Oh! Oh, you done fucked up now, girl. Stop, wait, car stop, went on. Ah, uh, stuck on that track, huh? Oh, what the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Yo, what? With a strip face. Straight up. Oh my god, it's that David Cronenberg face. So shaking the vehicle and shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, he's lifting and shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh my, oh my god, this is some Saturday morning cartoon. Oh, first they're banging, then they start clawing through the fucking doors, I mean, ripping it apart, shaking that shit. You just sit just watching too, like, what they doing? How do you not know what they doing, man? It's obvious they're from Kronos, so therefore, they're monsters. See, they're monsters. See, giant monster fist. What more do you need to say? Look at that shit. Trying to be Wolverine some bullshit. What is that about? You talking back away like, oh, oh, oh shit. Did I fuck up? Did I fuck up? <laughs> Oh no, did I, did I mess up? I might have messed up a little bit. I, I, I'm, I'm not fucked. Oh, Power Ranger style too. Now here's what gets kind of confusing if you don't know who good guy or the bad guy. So apparently Shrimp Face is actually the good guy. I'll explain why in a second, don't worry. Oh my God, these are not convincing at all, but okay, whatever. These are so not <laughs> These. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. How they should have done this was a far away angle shot of the fight instead of close up because it looks really bad close up. It does not look good close up. It just does, not for that. And there comes the toy car falling over. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, you totally real car. Yeah, yeah. Totally gonna blow up, probably. Oh man, that car really blew up, guys. I totally believe that was an actual car. Yep, they blew up in a real car. And she feels empathy for the monster. It's like, why well, I feel like this guy is on my side. He gets knocked over. Oh my god, what the little crap. Ah! <laughs> Jumping. They, they're real proud of that, that under the shot angle. Pointless superhero landing. Stop, that's not convinced. That's not convinced. Knocking around shit. And she's trying to defend them too, like, stop, stop. That one was helping me. Y'all fucking up. <gasps> oh. They're hitting their chest and shit. He's stumping it. He's 
stumbling on the yard and shit. They're breaking, man, they're breaking freaking offense, motherfucker, for real. Throwing a stone like, a, like they're gonna do something. That's what they're gonna do. You just saw what they did. What the fuck that stone gonna do, bro? And now you about to get fucked up, too. Look at that. Look at you. Look at you. You done fucked up. Shine's still knocked out. She's trying to, like, you know, this boss trying to give him a little, little sedative or whatever. I want no Guyver. Look, I want no Guyver shit, okay? No Guyver shit. No. No Guyver shit. Of course, Black Man comes in safe because he's a magical Negro, okay? He's that one magical Negro. So first they were against each other. Now they're not, not, now they homies. They homies now. They they like this, okay? They they like like this. Sh anyway, he's trying to tell him kidnap. We gotta go, man. We gotta get the fuck out. And he knocks him out. <laughs> Starts running and shit. It's like man, come on. I gotta follow your ass. And again, once again, they actually pat this out with an extra two minutes. I'm not kidding you. Of Sean driving just this. Almost two minutes long. Not even kidding. Whole sequence of just this. All they have to do is a fucking jump cut. A jump cut. We more than enough. No, they want to get extra footage so they pat this part out for almost two fucking minutes of him just driving driving like a maniac but still driving that's it there's no point to showing any of them. they didn't have to show us at all this could have been a jump cut serious serious of course go get saved by that same fucking shrimp monster again who is this motherfucker like he's on her side or some shit right now it's just what he's doing like no 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 oh i love this part here i love this part. like sean runs out in the appalachian he's trying to figure out where she at he actually calls her name and shit <laughs> He just keeps calling her out too, like at random direction. I'm not even kidding. She actually hears it. She actually calls him right back, and he actually hears it. I know. What's the point of that? I know. <laughs> I don't get it. What was the point of all that? Oh, that was completely unnecessary. Oh, those right here. This is a good scene, though. I'm not gonna lie. Watch. It's like, okay, gotta nut up. Gotta nut up. Ooh, I'm gonna beat some ass today. Got. Oh, slow mo. Slow mo. Running. Running. Here we go. Oh, it's out cold. Yo, for 94, that's not bad. For 94, that is not bad. And the landing too and everything, they're on the lake now because I don't fucking know. They're on the lake now. Fuck. That's what the budget had in mind, okay? Stop question. And more slap fighting. This is not good fighting. They, they really need to cut. Cut about at least half. That's, that's, that's. But then, yo, here we go. Here comes the good shit now. Hold on. Guy over here. Here come the good shit. Here come the good shit. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. That's what I came to see. That's what I came to see. Drag a little ass. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I like the little twirl we can't get around. <laughs> a little twirl. Oh, just don't. Oh, my God. Here we go. I'm going to watch like a wrestling match. It looks actually not too bad. I don't know why he decided to fight in the water, but fuck it. Why not? Let's fight in the water. He goes underwater. That's some weird direction. He actually got underwater camera on the show. He's acting like a fucking shark. What the fuck? Y'all can't tell when he's moving. He got a big ass fin on his head, man. How do you not see that? I how do you not? My God, y'all dumb as fuck. Y'all, y'all, y'all. How do you not see him, dude? For real? <laughs> he ain't. It's shallow water, dude. Shallow water. Yep, now he got you now. Hold on. Uh, yeah, no, nope, no. Nope. You dead, bro. You dead. You gone. He got you. He got you. Here we go. Get him, bro. Oh! Decapitation! Ah! Got him. Nick, yes, please get out of the fucking water. Thank you. This is what you're going to do. I will say this now. The action sequence for this right here, the choreography, actually not too bad. Especially with the little angle the action shot. Like this right here. It'll stomp. That, well timed. I love it. It still is kind of ridiculous. It does. It's actually well choreographed. I'll give him credit. Shit, but like, hey, for 94, this is not too bad, though. I'm, not, like, I'm, glad, he, I'm glad he went the dark direction of this because it's called Guy of a Dark Hero. We're trying to make dark possible. That runtime is way too fucking fucking. Fight sequence is actually because it's just long enough. Oh, why well, would you Kicks. Kick, pointing on it. Oh! You know, you're proud of that shit. Well, you got up, you're so proud of that thing. I'm proud of that. Uh -huh. Yo, and this guy right here, the little shrimp face. Now he's crawling, you know, he's actually good guy. Oh, shit! I can't show that on YouTube! I can't show that on YouTube! Oh, hell no! Slice him up. Damn, holding him down. Oh, I got you, bro. I got you. Oh! Yo, what the fuck? I can't show that on YouTube, baby. I can't show any of that. I can't show any of that. None of it, bro. None of it. No, nope. no, I can't show that. No, no, no. He's all bloody. It is. Guys, like so crawling. Like, Ugh. <laughs> Help, Gary. Right it's like no. Is that? You think? Oh, he cut her ass. She Nah, she's fine. Stuck shot. Hey, what's up? Nah, no, it's out. That's her daddy. That's daddy. You know that fuck looks like a Jurassic Park guy? Yeah. That's daddy. He's always annoyed too. Surprise, surprise. Let's go back to the forehead guy. He's just more padding. I'm not, nah, bro. But yeah, still guy. We do. Look, you ain't gotta go home. We gotta get the fuck up out of here because we're gonna fuck some shit up right now. You hear, you hear me right now? Now get now. Don't get. Don't get. Bitch cocking out. I'm like, oh, fuck me. Oh, hell. Nah, nah, bitch. Fuck this. Get going now. 
Oh, he turns so fucking, of course, black guy, you know, he's the prize, secret agent. Oh, oh my god, that's so <laughs> So they already getting the fuck out of it. They, oh man, you know how they probably got the bad guys. They got him, got him. Monster. Yeah, they already did. This tall ass motherfucker over here. God damn, boy. You big, boy. Big and ugly, boy. Now he's captured. Too. Thanks a lot, Magical Negro. Thanks a lot. God damn it. Ah, right, here we go. Main bad guy across. Look how big his forehead is too, by the way. Every bad guy in this movie has like th these foreheads. I'm, I'm seeing the pattern. These fucking foreheads, man. These fucking foreheads. I don't know if it's just good casting or what. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is like Dick Jones in a way. Don't seriously. This is like bitchiest looking meme time. Yeah. Such oh, it's calling to him. Uh, what is it? Case, case. Oh shit, it's that guy for unit. Man, he about to fuck some shit up. Re are you caressing it? What you do? Calling out to that green glow. Got the glow. Ooh, got that sex energy. Dynamite. In case you haven't figured it out, yes, they're gonna blow this case. Up, you know, for the climax. You know how it is. So we're gonna skip a few parts here. Basically, that every transforms. Fuck out. Fuck the face with the <laughs> transformation sequence of them. <laughs> Anyway, everybody's transformed now, okay? They're all, everybody's an alien, so annoying, whatever. Everybody's so annoying now, everybody. Everybody's so annoying. Guy about to fuck shit up, he does. All right, super puppet fighting. More awkward puppet fighting it is. By the way, that's the chick from really evil chick, as fuckly as ever. With <laughs> the gun tossed right there, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't even notice that before. <laughs> oh my God. He's bulletproof, of course she's fucking bulletproof. Nah, man, you need best to bear the fucking gun. What the case is, bro? <laughs> go, guy, bro, go, guy, bro, go. Go, guy, go, camera. It's like, look like, at that, look at that. Hell, face, look at that. Man, he already had it. Dark. Yep, get a hammer. Smack your ass so far. You can't find no fucking aliens. No, not my daughter. I feel like that's what Benny Hill is playing for this entire chase sequence. Yeah, use a barrel. That didn't work. And luckily, he slashed his very. Yes, he hit it right in the gut. That's gonna do something. Yo, box. Fuck. Or any shake it up. Zach, something with that? Are you shitting me? No. Really? Really? After all that? I'm about to say, you hang out with his back and shit. Hands are somehow. Hey, you protect my plot right now, I'm telling you. Oh! Brutal! Oh, don't use the fire chair. Really? Really? We're doing that ultra? What's that gonna do? Oh, look at that! Oh! Oh, it's danger! Oh! Yeah, it did, it did something. No fucking way. No fucking way. That actually worked. And she transformed back, too, and everything. I love this part. And it's like, man, fuck you. Boom! <laughs> That was the whole point of your character. For that whole sequence, right? The guys looking monsters, I'm not gonna lie. They do not look very strong at all. Stop throwing shit, bro. It's getting dumb now. It's eight balls at the time <laughs> with his laser. <laughs> okay, okay. I kinda like that. Yeah, even boss like, alright, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Oh no, it's over. It's over. No, no, it's over. Daddy! Dad, let me get this random weapon. Oh, wait, let's get this stuff. Guy. Oh, that was a good kick. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? As you do, you gotta save the girl. A lot of pointing and shooting. Laughter, that's what he's up to. Oh, no. Guys, don't guy reunit now. Oh, shit. Oh, guy reunit so annoyed. Here we go. Final boss mode. Final boss mode. Not bad design, not gonna lie. I do like that design. It's like, it's very insect like. It's kind of slick. I like, they did a good job on that. You know, they got face off, you know how it is. And they're basically beat the shit out of each other. Oh, what? How'd that work? It's like Circus Ballet at this point. Wee! <laughs> I, I love that just when he has a Gyber unit, now he knows karate. Now, oh, look at this, look at this. What the fuck? What is that? What is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh my god, no, he didn't. Bad guys from the upper hand. What? Oh, that was a good move. Point to you, guys. Yeah, it's a high ground, by the way. And bicycle kick. Oh my god, what the fuck? Well, Luke Kane on his ass. God damn. Oh, oh, this guy was damaged. Fuck, finish this. Be over soon. Oh, get the blade out. God. Yo! Okay, okay, I see you, motherfucker. Go. Slice and dice time. Okay, all right, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, okay. Okay, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, okay, no. Oh, okay. I mean, for radar movies, it's fucking tame. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's radar, but it's more like besides those little moments of gore, which I guess was up to R rating. Oh, oh, I really like the actual feels brutal. Look at that. But is he monologuing right now? He's monologuing. You monologuing right now. Don't monologue. God damn. Why do they always, why do they always got fucking monologue? Look at this motherfucker. He monologuing right now. He's just gloating. Oh, 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 right in the gut, right in the gut. Oh, 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 baby, no. Oh, baby, no. Oh, baby, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, she did something. Hey, right direct shot. Push, <laughs> a little push, bitch. <laughs> I got your ass now, hold on. Oh, grab that shit. Give me that, give me that shit. Give me that, it's my shit now, bro. Come on, give me that, give me that shit. Give me that shit. Yeah, boy, my shit now, boy. It's all gushing and kicking him and shit. It's like, oh, no. 
I got a bloody nose. Melt song. Not gonna lie, it's back. Oh, oh, guys. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The mega smash. Here we go. Titty cannon time. It's titty cannon time. Here we go. Open it up. Oh! Look at that. Tights his little titties together. <laughs> Thanks. You saved me again. Girl, he's covering dust. Moss. I would not be hugging that. Be honest. Great and all, but uh, I gotta go start a PS1 game. I don't know. I might be famous from it. Who knows? Oh yeah. By the way, is this cave full of dynamite and shit? Yep, it is full of dynamite and shit. About to blow right now. Y'all need to get the fuck out. Fuck out. Stop talking. Get the fuck out. He's like, man, like, yo, we gotta get the fuck out. He's like, no, no, I wanna stay here for a second. Wanna, wanna communicate with this, you know, little shit thing going on. I gotta tell him with my with my coil. He's basically saying goodbye and thanks for all the fish. Yeah, it's just goodbye and thanks for all the fish. But they linger on is so long. Yeah, get the fuck out. The goddamn cave is blowing up, dumbass. Goddamn. Oh, stupid as fuck. Bad guys are dead and the cave is blowing up. It's time to go. It's time to go. It is time to exit. And the ship is basically lifting off. It's gonna leave the cave. It's like, fuck it. I'm out of here. Fuck this earth. I'm gone. Like, nah, fuck your science shit. I'm out of here. Camera, shaking camera. Running the slow mo again. There it is. There's the blow up. Oh, man. Oh, shaky camera. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all safe. I know. They're all. Hey, look. The giant spaceship is okay. Cool. We waited two hours for that. Two hour for that for that just for this not even kidding for this big reveal the movie padded out two hours just for this not even kidding just just for this that that little effect that little windows 98 screensaver effect what the fuck god damn oh that's terrible and yes i do believe this movie was trying to build up to make this to a pilot for a Guyver American show. I do believe it's what they're trying to go. For. It didn't happen at all. But if you told me this is the pilot for it, I could totally believe it because it's the perfect setup for a pilot and everything. Because by the end of this, it's kind of like Incredible Hulk in a way. Like he just starts traveling the world, traveling the, the roadside, whatever. Trying to find the next Chronos base, Zoranoid infested place. That's, that's basically what it's saying. That maybe we'll see you another again sometime. So yeah, he's going to be his uh, government liaise for the base. So yeah, that's how the movie ends. Guyver 2, everybody. So, 7 4. If you want more videos like where I talk about old prop and possible slash commentary, over, let me know. Say comment. If you like it or hate. That being said, join my Discord. Like, share, subscribe. If you want to arc my website, my Patreon, my merch, and everything else. Bottom script. Check it out. If you watch. Also, if you like what I'm doing here and everything else in my channel. Please leave a super thanks. I appreciate you so much if you did that. Anyway, on to the next video if you can, if you got time. But if you want to though, check me out over there.